they were able to view uh, voter registration records. Um, and we don't, we can't tell exactly if they copied them or if they did not copy them. We don't, we can't tell that. They were able to look at them. We don't know what they did with them. Um, that security lapse on our website was fixed when it was discovered. And uh, we have worked with um, various agencies, uh, Department of Innovation and Technology for the state, um, Department of Homeland Security, all of these other um, groups that have cybersecurity experts to make sure that we don't have any other lapses in our uh, website or that could be exploited. Um, so it happened, it was fixed. I mean, and that's where we're at. I don't know exactly if you have specific <coughs> questions that. Well, I, how did you know they were Russians? That was one of the questions. That is something that we did not learn internally. It was released from Department of Homeland Security. So they were the ones that were doing the cybersecurity investigation, so to speak. And could they, let's, they went in there for a reason. Um, is there anything that they could have taken out that would have compromised our um, voting system? No. No, and this comes back to uh, Carla's comments earlier about the misconceptions. Um, one of the biggest misconceptions is that, you know, this voter registration um, intrusion, which I'm not, you know, trying to say it's not a big deal because it is a big deal for a lot of reasons, but it's completely unrelated to your um, voting on election day or voting through the mail or early voting and the tabulation of those uh, ballots because it is a completely separate system. It is, um, it cannot be, the, the two things are completely separate. So they're completely unrelated. Um, they can't be manipulated without actually having like physical contact with them because they're not online as Carla mentioned. Uh, we have paper ballots, so there's always a paper trail. Even the electronic voting machines that you use produce a paper trail um, of what ballots were cast. So there are there's several levels of um, security built in there. And as far as um, you know that security hack affecting the elections one of the biggest things that they could have done would be to, you know, if they had removed voter registration records, but they did not remove anything. Even if they had, you know, there are still several um, safeguards in place for that. Not only do we have backups of the data, but if the poll, if the voter was to show up in the polling place or wherever, we have same day voter registration, we have provisional voting, we have voter affidavits um, to correct these types of things. So, so, so why do you think they wanted to do it? I'm just curious. I know it sounds like a crazy. I mean, as, as far as the personal opinion, I think it was to sow discord and the or you know create confusion, create um, <laughs> a lot of uh, misconceptions, a lot of concerns. Again, those concerns are well placed, um, but. I think it was to uh, undermine uh, the integrity of the election process and sow a lot of um, uncertainty about it. 